Hey guys, it's Simply Nika and I'm coming to you today with um, my twist out. Now my hair is uh, has been straightened and it's due, due for a wash, but I want to, you know, stretch it out before I wash my hair. So I have my hair parted into three sections. The back is I already have done off camera and I also use the blue perm rods. Now I have... I have the middle parted into three sections and since my middle is much thicker I'm going to be using six braids in the middle. So let's get started. I'm going to part my hair into two and I know sorry you see me talking so I decided to do a voiceover. This comb here I don't usually use it only when my hair is straightened. I will be using the Carol's Daughter Hair Milk, uh, the Curls Paste for my ends and I also be Morocco oil from Argan oil is one of my favorite go-to oils. So, all right, so let's get started. I'm going to be parting my hair into two section, and that's I'm very, I'm using a very small amount because my hair, I, you know, I don't want my hair to revert back. My hair is very easy to revert back to curls. I'm working that through my hair, and I'm going to start twisting. As you could see. I pull that crown up out of that purple bag. Um, I like to switch up my perm rods. So I also will be using the pink one in the middle and what I'm, I'm also using the blue one on the top as well. I put the curls paste at the end of my hair and I just roll it onto the perm rod. I know you can't see. I'm sorry. I didn't realize I was out of frame, but I'm gonna. You're definitely gonna be able to see it much better here. So, twist it all the way to the end. I'm also. I'm gonna put my curls paste to make sure the ends are nice and curly. And then I'm going to take the perm rod and just wrap it, wrap it all the way to the top. I also, oh, also make sure that your ends are, are smooth onto the perm rod and not frizzy so that when you take it out, it's, you know, it's going to be all one curl. I don't use this comb, like I said before. Uh, when my hair is curly, I only use it when it's straight. And as you can see, I use a very small amount of the Carol's uh, hair milk because that product, uh, a, long, a, a small amount goes a long way for, well, at least for me when my hair is straightened. Sorry, guys, I'm mumbling and stuttering. This is me. I talk like this on the regular. I don't know what's wrong with me, but sorry about that. Bro, hit the pedal and let's ride. Like I said, I'll, I'll be using the pink ones in the middle just to give it a bigger, looser curl. I don't know. I just wanted to try something new. I was watching a tutorial, and the girl said that she likes to switch up her perm rods. Now I'm in the front of my hair, and I'm going to go back to the blue one. I just love using perm rods. I love the curl definition, the curl pattern, actually, I should say, that you get from it. And, oh, I'm positioning this perm rod this way because this is the way I want my hair to fall out of when I, um, how, ugh, ugh. this is the way I want my hair to fall when I take it out so it's just easier for me to like hold it that way and wrap it around the perm rods and is it me or is I, like my perm rods that the blue part that you're supposed to connect it falls off, so I end up having to use uh, a bobby pin. I mean, I'm not complaining. It still gets the job done, but I was just wondering, does that happen to anybody else? Here I'm going to do actually do the, the double strand twist on my, this is my bangs. Well, they're not bangs. They're pretty long, but this is the part that's going to be 
falling to my face. So I just double strand twist it to double strand twist that to my root so that it it has a really good um pattern. And plus like as like I said, that's this section of my hair right here is my problem section. So I always have to do it a little bit different from the rest of my hair just so it can have the same curl pattern, you know, through the same curl pattern as the back. I know everybody has a problem section and I mean, you, you know, you just got to do what you got to do. All right. I hope that was helpful. Um, that's pretty much it. I don't have the takedown. I'm going to apologize for that, but I do have pictures to show you the results of how it looked. And, and this is how your hair is supposed to look when you're all done. All right. Um, yeah. Hope you guys like it. And have a good one, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!